Meek Mill's lawyer fails to prove that the judge urged him to dump Rock Nation and a lot of other inconsistencies were proved. Let's get right into this Meek Mill update. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And now it's St. Thomas, straight out of Baltimore City. He has his first single and music video called Rapture Time. Go below, go to his Instagram, his YouTube. It's all below, guys. Go check it out. 24 hours, I'ma be here. Wow. Standing my feet hurt. Right here. Put the curb in the sleeper. Hugging on the corner, no love street needed. Jack, Jack Boy Murth thought he can take it easy. Bow. Hot in the freezer, hoes I don't need them. And if you want to run ads in the channel, it's Jordan Taylor Media at gmail.com. Well, we got Meek Mill's lawyer failed to prove that the judge was making Meek do remixes over boys to men, shouting her out and and then also urging him to drop Rock Nation and go back to Charlie Mack. It actually came from a probation officer that advised Meek to leave Rock Nation uh, and go to Charlie Mack because Charlie Mack seemed to be invested in Meek Mill as a person because if you don't know, Charlie Mack was Meek Mill's original manager that helped him get out of jail in the first place before Rick Ross was even remotely in the picture and he helped meek mill drop flamers and get the flamers mixtapes out and all that and got meek mill a buzz where rick ross was interested in signing meek mill now uh i think meek mill's lawyer is a little crazy because right when meek went to jail he started making all these crazy accusations and uh they might be real okay obviously the Philly system is against Meek Mill. We know that. I'm not debating that one bit. You know, he's on unfair probation. You know, people like Jay-Z, Rick Ross, uh, many people in the hip-hop industry have spoken out in support of Meek Mill. I've spoken out in support of Meek Mill, um, and he should be free. But let's also look at this. If the system's out to get you, don't let them trap you into sending you back at the same time. You know, he got a pass last time where they let him go on house arrest. Um, a time before that, they sent him to jail. You know, how many times does it take before you know you, how to move out here and how to make it so that there's no way they could send you anywhere and prevent you from getting money, you know? So, you know, I think Meek Mill needs a new lawyer at this point, maybe, to, and maybe needs to separate himself from certain people that keep him in trouble you know uh or maybe he needs somebody around him that you know is gonna you know second you know tell him no like hey man you can't do that man not i you know because think of all the money meek mill's forfeiting from being in jail you know so like there's there's a big side of me that feels bad for me because he's getting a raw deal but the system isn't fair for anybody and it's especially not fair if you're a minority i mean let's just be honest okay but it's not fair for anybody period uh they make money off of keeping people in jail they make money off of fining you there's all these kind of fines that go with everything even if you go to jail for a traffic ticket because they put out a warrant for you in new york this has happened to me and they put you in jail for the whole weekend it ends up costing you four hundred dollars to get, you know, the judge makes you pay $400 because, you know, it's all this stuff. It's all a big money scheme. Even the cops admit to it. Like, I hate, I'm saying to do this to you, man. But if I don't do this many rips at night and to put people in jail, they put me in the project store. A cop admitted this to me when I got locked up for what a, a ticket for going through a red light in 2006. I got pulled over in 2013 and they said, oh, you got a warrant. And I was, I was laughing. I was like, how do I have a warrant? And then they were like, oh, it's from a, a stop ticket. They put me in jail for the whole weekend. And then I had to pay $400. And the cop was admitting to me, yeah, I hate having to do this. But, you know, if we don't do this, they punish us by putting us in bad neighborhoods. It's like, you know, you can't win with the system. And, and, and Meek Mill's in a whole never level of the system because he actually had to serve real time for real problems. I'm talking about a traffic ticket. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So uh, I do feel bad for Meek. But he does need a new lawyer that's going to, you know, you know, he's not winning against the system. You just can't win. It's very hard. Very hard. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this? Uh, just giving you guys an update. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. And I'll check you guys in the next one. If you want to run ads on the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. And I'll check you on the next video. Peace. And now it's St. Thomas, straight out of Baltimore City. 
He has his first single and music video called Rapture Time. Go below, go to his Instagram, his YouTube. It's all below, guys. Go check it out. 24 hours, I'ma be here. Standing my feet hurt. Right Put the curb in the sleeper. Hugging on the corner, no love street needed. Jack boy, Murray thought he can take it easy. Hot in the freezer, hoes I don't need on. Um. Living that life, son, I just don't agree with hey. My carpet from Egypt, dubbing the freeze, got me fresh like the east Dipping in salt, marinating the season I sighted to see you like you trying to real I, I, I can tell how you dress, we don't need to be speaking I been with the beat, bitch, my jewelers are vegan Bitch, fuck for free, that don't make you no diva My outfit screaming demons I'm too bougie, you walking Vickies The fuck shit can miss me It's the year of no excuses